Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So, Divine Feminine, I am here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with every single Divine Feminine. Getting no fitness info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. It is currently under construction. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit that link. You'll be back in turn. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. Okay. First off, y'all, if you are booking with me, please don't send money before the email or just send money, period, and just expect me to know. I have no clue who some of y'all are. The names don't be matching the, the payment thing. So look, okay, just, just email me before you send a payment, please. If I haven't responded to you, it's probably because... I don't know you sent anything, okay? Uh, you also, that's another reason why you should really, I mean, not to be rude, y'all, but that's another reason why you should not be getting scammed on Instagram, at least by the fake me, right? The clone me, because you're supposed to email me first before you send a payment. So even if that person says, I can read your aura through your picture, whatever the fuck they be telling y'all, you still supposed to email me before you make a payment. That's the rule. So somebody should email me like, none, you said you saw my aura through my picture on Instagram and asked they said to send me. I'm going to be like, no, that was not me. I'm glad you emailed me first, right? That's why you go to person now, right? Y'all remember, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. That's my favorite part. If you go down to person now, okay? So I don't know. Be careful out here on these streets, okay? The nun ain't trying to take your money, G. So if I haven't responded to you in regards to a payment, please email me, okay? Thank you. All right, now we got that out the way. What's up, y'all? Divine Feminine. I got a couple messages, messages, excuse me, for you and Divine Masculine, just wherever it resonates, right? I don't know if this is a lover or just somebody, G. Somebody's going to try to come in like lie to you in the next seven days but it's like thank you guys for telling me the word was omitting yes that's the word i was looking for in one of those readings where i could not figure it out yes lie by omission it's kind of the same thing when i'm picking up again so uh, an example would be divine feminine right since this is your reading this will be some masculine energy coming to tell you whatever the fuck in order to date you right and you'll ask them are you seeing anyone are you with anyone and they'll say no i'm not with anyone right we broke up and that's true they are not with anyone and they did break up but they didn't tell you they abandoned this bitch took all her motherfucking money left her with an eviction notice a baby it's like well you just asked me if i had a bitch you know what i mean and was i with someone technically no i'm not it's almost like make sure you ask the right questions g Okay, you too, Divine Masculine. It's something where, I don't know. I feel like somebody is like abandoning a whole woman and a baby or a man and a baby or some shit like that to try to come towards someone. And I mean, I get it, people break up, but it's the way they're doing it that I don't like. That's that shit I don't like. Yeah, they're not acting like a Chief Keith. This person name could be Keith, but they're not acting like a Chief when they do this shit. They acting like a, a scare motherfucker as far as what they're leaving. When they come to you, they bring you a whole different energy like they on some bullshit, but they just ran away from something, okay? So be aware in the next seven days. Mm -hmm. Y'all also are gonna catch someone in a lie or someone's gonna catch you in one, but somebody about to get caught in a lie, sneaking, uh, cheating, stealing, or some shit like that. It will be a divine counterpart that catches someone, okay? It's not a divine counterpart in lying, so I shouldn't have said, or it's you. But somebody here thinks they are a divine counterpart and they're lying, so technically I will be talking to you, but you're not a divine counterpart. Get it, got it, cool, right? It's this type of shit, okay? Someone's also intimidated by you, Divine Feminine. This person, you may find out, you may notice people avoiding you in the next seven days. But I feel like in your defense, they're fucking irritating, G. You know what I mean? It's either like they're coming with half of the information, half-ass shit, the same shit they said last time or did last time, or nothing at all. It's like, don't waste my motherfucking time, G. So somebody may avoid you until they have more answers. That's a good idea. 
they should avoid you till they have more answers for you or some, something like where they're sure they made a decision. You know what I mean? It's like somebody calling you, telling you they're going to call you tomorrow. Don't motherfucking keep calling me, telling me you're going to call me tomorrow. Call me. You know what I mean? It's like this type of shit, girl. It's annoying. Whatever it is, whoever's been doing this to you, they're going to avoid you. So it's just like somebody just like got you running around in circles almost. Not that I feel like you are running around in circles because I feel like you pick up on this shit, but you shut it down. You probably tell them. Guess what? Don't call me tomorrow if it's the same shit you're telling me today. You're wasting my time. They're going to be like, oh, okay. What else can they say? What, what else can they say, girl? This could totally be like a romantic thing. Like if you're still fucking around with Tatiana, don't fucking call me. Period. There's nothing else to say, G. It's like, well, they gonna call and say, man, it's real bad with Tatiana today and I'm really trying to get out this relationship and you like, okay, that's the first time. Then tomorrow they call you with the same shit and the day after, like, what, what's the point of you telling me this? I feel you getting irritated, but it's like with bullshit, girl. Like, man, either, you know what I mean? Sit down, uh, uh, stand up. <laughs> shit, I don't know. It's like somebody leaning on the chair. Like, you really gonna sit or stand, motherfucker? You know what I mean? It's giving me... No such things as halfway crooks type energy here. Okay, you ain't fucking with halfway crooks here. You either fucking blood in, blood out. Yeah, right? Something about your ex and shit. Or a DM, divine masculine, this could be happening to you. Or shit. You know? ooh -wee. Divine feminine, I see your kids reminding you of things. So be careful when you tell them shit, girl. Because they ain't gonna forget nothing in the next seven days. They ain't forgot shit. So if you're saying, oh, yeah, I'm thinking about, you know, taking you to go get some new shoes this week. Don't tell them that. Every day they going to ask you, girl. Like, mom, it's today, today we going to go get the new shoes. What about tomorrow? Is it going to be the day? Is it going to be Wednesday? Is it going to be third? Like, girl, just don't even tell them. It's either that or it's the shit I said before about somebody just, you know. Like, it's the same thing, but it's a kid. You know, we got to give them passes because them the babies. But, yeah, it could be something like that. Where your kids going, you haven't forgotten, but they, they feel like they need to remind you, like you've forgotten because you haven't been to the mall and got the shoes yet. It's something like that, okay? Or they're just like little uh, grown-ass adults and little kid bodies, and they just, you know, mom, it's seven, you need to take your medicine, put the pot roast on, you know what I mean? Like this type of shit, like maybe you just got some real mature children, but they like kid kids though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 8, 9, 10 and shit. Like, I feel like them motherfuckers can drive. You know what I mean? It's something about y'all kids where they, like, hella grown or got old souls or some shit like that. But they really gonna be, like, your MVP and shit on some real shit uh, for some of you uh, in the next seven days. Like, that's the little one that, that see your car keys and shit. You know what I mean? You don't, you're not that short, so you don't look that low. Your kid's gonna find them. You're gonna be like, man, that's why I love you. That's why I love you, kid. Like, not because they found the keys, but it's just like, it's like your right hand, like your wingman or some shit when it comes to y'all's kids. They so cute in the next seven days. For sure, for sure. They more responsible than the motherfucker I, put, I picked up on in the beginning. Facts, okay? Woo! Some of them, they damn daddy or they mama. I'll be down. You know, they must take after you, person watching. The kid, I mean. Anyway. Divine Feminist, some of y'all are going to get pregnant. Some of y'all are pregnant and you're having like, a, I don't know if this is true, but that this is what they're saying. When you're pregnant, you have memory loss. I don't know. But some of you guys are like having forget, like, a, you know, you're forgetting shit. But it's, they said it's because you're pregnant. So maybe you just, you know, it's more energy going to the baby. So maybe you just like, I can't think for me and them. So I just let the baby think for me. And the baby don't really know much. So you probably seem a little scatterbrained, they're saying, if you're pregnant. If not, it's just some like, Scatterbrained ass bitch. Okay, I don't know. This she be avoiding you though. You're smarter than her. Okay, you are. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's trying to sneak over to you, divine feminine. Okay, divine masculine. This could go for either one of you. Somebody's trying to get out of something and come over to your side, but they don't need. They don't want to let the other side know that that's where they're coming towards or where they're going towards is you or something about you, but. They're halfway crooks, though. It's like they're not doing a good job. It's like somebody who got paint on the bottom of their shoes. You know what I mean? And trying to get away. <laughs> you know? It's leaving footprints and shit. It's giving me this type of feeling. Like, I mean, the plan was amazing. It was just the paint on the bottom of your shoe that fucked up everything. Like, you let them straight here. Like, this type of shit. So, whoever this is needs to do things the right way because it's going to catch up with their ass. Whether they've been stealing some shit from you, lying to get to you. I don't know. Something shady going on. Somebody about to get caught. G, period. In the next seven days. They are. 
somebody baby mama gonna pop up at somebody's house too. What was that shit on daddy's little girls? <laughs> when the, the the baby mama rolled up in the minivan with the little boy and shit, and he, she said, or the little boy said, get your hands off my daddy, tramp, <laughs> right? Some of y'all gonna be out with somebody y'all on a date, and somebody baby mama, baby daddy gonna pull up in a minivan with kids in it, cussing your ass out, for real. It's gonna be like, I'm telling you, it's little like, uh, adult kids out here, like trying to whoop your ass, divine feminine, for fucking up their home or something, girl. I don't know. Something about that, okay? Or this could be a man with daughters that just don't like you, okay? I don't know, girl. It's something like that. But but the daddy was the one lying, cheating and shit. You know what I mean? But I guess the kids and the baby mama gonna stick together. They gonna ride on your ass, divine feminine, or shit. I don't know. Maybe this is you if you're married or something. You about to show up, okay? Some, I told y'all somebody was going to Red Lobster. Y'all seen them people pop? I don't know what that's about. I feel like that's a subliminal, like. I don't know. Something about Red Lobster again, y'all. So I don't know. Maybe this is where y'all at. <clears throat> Which is a sign y'all had sex. Okay? That That's what that means when the baby mama pull up. She like, I know the Beyonce song. You know what I mean? What the fuck are you doing with this bitch at Red Lobster? When the little boy goes, get your hands off my daddy, tramp. <laughs> I swear, y'all. That's what they keep showing me some little toddler about to ride on some of y'all, G. For real. Las Vegas in effect, baby. Yeah, Pee Wee, Bebe's kids, they said. <laughs> oh, shit. Shout out to Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Bebe, all her kids. Somebody's name could be Robin. I don't know. That's what they said. I don't know what kind of fucking message this is. Somebody does have some little bad children. Some of you guys are about to break into the music industry or the entertainment industry, divine feminine, divine masculine, <clears throat> or your children are, or you model for maternity clothes or some shit like that. I don't know, girl, what the hell are you doing, okay? It's something about, like, entertainment, though, and you, but you're about to, like, do something different. <clears throat> it could be just you breaking on the scene and they heard your shit, you know what I mean? And boom, you're in there. My little 15 minutes, less than long as hell, huh? Yeah, I don't know. They've been playing a lot of Cardi B, too, so I, I don't know. Is she breaking into something new? It makes me feel like y'all doing new shit, like, different than what you used to do. You may be a little obnoxious, G, <laughs> for real. You, you may be, but it's like, or intimidating, or <clears throat> just very... Like, your energy is like strong, divine feminine, divine masculine. So whenever this industry, if it is entertainment or something else, but I feel like it is because uh, they're showing me the magician card. So that could be uh, sports, uh, you know, like entertainment, music, acting, all that shit. It's something where you put on a fucking show, okay? But you do it different or some shit like that. But it's a little, yeah, it's just different. Shit, I don't know. Let's, let's move on, people. Yeah, 13 minutes? What? Or 14 by the time y'all see this. Ay, okay, but I said I had a lot of messages. Yeah, we done went to Fun World with Bebe's kids, Red Lobster and shit, uh, a concert, uh, all types of shit, Divine Feminine. It's going to be an interesting week, Booski. Or in the next seven days. Monty, they said. Okay. Give me some uh, messages. How Divine Feminine will be feeling. Oh, hold on, girl. No, I did turn it off. Uh, give me some messages. See, I told you, Scott, I ain't pregnant. So maybe it's just the Divine Feminine, girl. You could be Empress energy, right? You could uh, just be forgetting the shit that you, if you did it or not. It's like, did I turn the flat irons off? You know what I mean? Shit like that. I don't feel like it's like major and shit. Like, did I leave the baby in the car on a hot summer day? No. You know what I mean? That's not even funny, but on some real shit. I don't feel like it's like that bad. I feel like it's something like, you know, you're going to have to turn around. Shit, it's like you on the freeway and it's like, did I leave the iron on? I can't fucking remember a shit. And you don't want to burn down the house, do you? Nine times out of ten, you turn that shit off. But now you're going to be a little irritated because you had to turn around. It's going to be shit like this in the next seven days. Like, just irritation, G. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to what's going on with you. Give me some messages uh, in regards to... Let me just see, girl, because I still don't trust it, but let me just... All right, give me some messages here for Divine Feminine, how she'll be feeling about herself and the energy she's going to be in in the next seven days. Damn it. 
I'm telling you, girl. I damn near dropped. I did. <laughs> damn. Hold on, girl. This is how you know I really be recording shit. And I ain't stopping shit, editing shit. Shit. Y'all click the fast forward button for a fucking reason. Use it. <laughs> okay? Shit. I'm not starting over. I don't know why shit's on. Now they definitely going to be reversed and all mixed up. Okay? For sure. All right. I'm sorry, girl. 16 minutes in. All right. I got it now, guys. Okay. Worried, scared. Yeah, maybe somebody noivous, Manoiva. I literally just dropped all. I don't know if you saw it, but fuck. Uh, this is like scared. It's someone else's energy, though. Divine feminine, divine masculine. So if you're a masculine uh, watching, it could be another masculine energy. If you're a feminine energy watching, it's a masculine energy. Uh, but the lawnmower man is at the bottom. This is avoiding things. This is also my experiment card, like experimenting on the motherfucker with abilities, right? And then the motherfucker with abilities come back and whoop that ass. Yeah, it looked like that might be what they, it's like somebody, uh, remember how they did Wolverine and shit? And he came back to the lab and started wrecking shit? This like, uh, Springer, is that his name? I don't know. They said, I don't know, rest in peace, Jerry Springer, but I know he wasn't in the X-Men, but I feel like that was that, that scientist or that general's name that was uh, operating on Wolverine is what they're saying. I don't know, okay? But he would be avoiding Wolverine now because Wolverine is surgical with this bitch now. It's like this type of shit. Somebody's worried because they did something to you and they're worried that you know, period, point blank. I don't know why we going into X-Men shit, but you know them my peoples, okay? So I understand that's cutting wolf, <laughs> cutting wolf. <laughs> Somebody they wolf. A lot of y'all have nicknames or they said surnames, street names. Uh, they said the club name. Okay. Yeah, y'all. I don't know. I feel like you guys have a lot of like titles. This is like personalities or I don't want to say like you have multiple personalities, but there's a lot of different sides to you, divine feminine, divine masculine. Someone may have may not have known that, right? And they're worried because they were testing some shit out on you. That's basically what this is. Okay, in the next seven days. Give me another one. Death card. Yeah, just flip right out. Yeah, uh-uh. Don't be scared. That's what this is. Death card is don't be scared. Uh, whoever this is, okay? Someone scared to death as well. Scared to death. Okay? Damn. Yeah, I'm like this. You probably like this too. Like, who would be, you know, I don't know. Somebody is like really, really worried, divine. Somebody could be worried about you. This is also someone scared to, to that someone's going to die. This could be someone scared to die. I don't know. But this really just feels like scared to death is what this really feels like. I'm not picking up. Unless you watch that AP. Yeah, well, I, we ain't going to even get into that AP class. But you would, when you were in school last night or the night before, by the time you watch this, uh, that's what this is. Someone could be scared to death of you. Maybe about how your mind works. Somebody may feel like you all up in their dumb space, divine feminine, divine masculine. This playing tricks on the motherfucking mind and shit. So somebody is uh, scared to death that either you know this, that someone was trying to fuck with your head. And I feel like you do know, because that was the intuitive message when you tell this motherfucker, stop, stop bullshitting me, man. <laughs> stop bullshitting me, man. Okay, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It's basically what you're saying. I feel like your tone may change, your attitude may change, and it worries someone. Like, you know, and I feel like you may flip a switch on somebody, but you know we got light and dark. So this could be an instance where you just been, like, real nice to a motherfucker. You know what I mean? There's no need for me to be an asshole if... You know what I mean? There's no need for me to be an asshole. It's like when I tell y'all I start people off with an A. You work your way down to an F. I don't start you off with an F, right? So somebody could assume, well, shit, they started me off with an A and they don't even realize I'm dumb as fuck, says this person. I'm a straight tard and this person gave me an A. It's like somebody thinking you stupid for giving them a, a A. Meaning we're stupid for giving this person a chance. This, this is the person thinking that you're dumb for giving me a chance. You're dumb for love. This is what this person's saying. Like, actually, you're dumb. Because nobody else would love you like I would and give you a chance like I would. You tard, right? I feel like someone's waking up. Like, they're scared to death now. Like, someone's like, uh, wait, yeah, snap out of it, they said. Yeah, like an ammonia pad under, underneath a motherfucking nose and shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Somebody's really realizing something about you, divine feminine, divine masculine, but... Someone's left in suspense. Somebody may be watching a horror movie too in the next seven days. 
that shit seemed real as fuck or plausible, they said. So, man, these uh, scary movies, they starting to get more realistic, ain't they? You know, this ain't like Jason, Freddy, none of that shit. It's the haunting and the exorcism and the conjuring and pairing the shit that's, that's possible, okay? Got somebody scared as fuck out here. Somebody being haunted by the dead as well. Somebody scared of the dead? Mm-hmm. You could be a medium, divine, feminine, divine, masculine. I don't know why people fuck with mediums and shit. Then the worst people to get on their bad side. To me, you would think so. Like, I don't know what you're thinking. But okay, somebody did that shit. And some dead people mad at somebody or scared somebody to death. Uh, I don't know. I heard, let's be friends. So shit, it could be, you guys could be, be inheriting another ancestor or spirit guide i'm not predicting anyone's gonna pass away but i feel like you may have another spirit guide coming knight of wands yeah okay i don't know if you know this person somebody's being hunted haunted by a young child a dead boy okay that part too what the hell you got maybe y'all watching like the id channel i didn't told y'all stop watching i didn't told y'all stop coming over here messing with these people i told you stop watching that shit girl okay I don't know if this is a movie or not, but this damn sure is someone being haunted by a dead little boy, okay? They're showing me uh, Flatliners with the little boy. What was that with uh, the first one, though? Not that second one, though. But whoever the one was, the little boy with the red hoodie on in the train that was coming after uh, Christian Slater. I think that's who was in that part. I don't know, for those that know that movie, the original one, it's something like that, like someone uh, did something to someone. And whoever they did something to, something's coming back to haunt somebody. Somebody's scared, basically, in the next seven days. Look at you, girl. I don't feel like it's you. You wouldn't be sitting like that. <laughs> for real. I don't feel like you would. Shit, maybe it is. Oh, shit, Divine Feminine. Maybe you could be scared for someone. Maybe somebody tried to scare you. This could be somebody's baby mama. And it's the baby mama and the baby daddy. It's a whole bunch of people scared. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, ancestors. I don't feel like this is you. What you need to be scared of Ten of Pentacles for? What, what, that don't make no sense. Blessings and abundance. Why? I mean, it doesn't say you're losing it. You haven't done anything disgusting. Yeah, you kick this holes all outside. You know what I mean? You ain't letting people in your energy. This ain't you, girl. This empress. I thought it was. So maybe he got food too. But it. I, I caught on quick. See, uh, whoever this is, don't catch on quick like that. Somebody's scared. They made a mistake, and they. Uh, it's over. This is also someone being scared that they can't come towards you. That's the end of me coming towards her. That's the end of me fucking too. Nine of Wands is Papa was a rolling stone. I guess I won't be rolling over to her house. Something's a wrap. A uh, divine feminine, divine masculine in the next seven days. Crazy shit about it is I feel like somebody thought they were getting over on someone, you know? So this is like you leaving out a nut for a squirrel and he think he's stealing shit from you. Like not realizing I left the nut out. You know, it's kind of this type of energy. Then finally the squirrel picks up on the shit. You know what I mean? Like, hey, they haven't left any nuts out. I wonder if they know I've been stealing. And you're like, I wonder if the squirrel knows I'm just not leaving nuts out because they real fucking expensive at Kroger. It's like, and I, you know, it's, it's way, you got, you and someone see something totally different. Someone has a guilty conscience here and I feel like you've been allowing them to be this way. You know, it's almost like, I don't know. You could have just, I don't know. You could have said some bait out for somebody, girl. Or you will in the next seven days. Or somebody tried to set some bait out for you. But the bait that they set out was the bait that you set out. Like you baited someone to leave bait. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, girl. Okay? In the next, or Divine Masculine. Seven days. Okay? Someone scared, they, they fucked themselves. You know? It's like someone not knowing you have protection on something that they thought they were stealing. So that's why you leave it outside with no lock and key, no alarm system or anything. So this is somebody like, wow, they just left the doors open on a brand new Maybach. Like, what the fuck? Right? This person thinks they're going to steal it and they drive off with it. But they don't know like it's like got a dead body in the trunk. It's like this type of energy. I know that's very extreme, but it's, it's like I left it that way. I purposely left the dead body in the trunk unlocked because I knew you young punks, all right, would come and try to steal the car. Now I can frame you for the body, you tart. It's like this. It's like you get someone, but I feel like it's been that way all along, G. Like, it's like you set somebody up to take the fall, but, they were, but you knew they were coming after you. So it's like, perfect. I, I heard the fall guy. Shit, girl. 
your mind is amazing. You got people, I told you people were scared and intimidated. Maybe this the baby mama that could drive up. And maybe it don't go like the movie and shit. It looked like she shut the van door and tell the kid to shut the fuck up. Let's go, kid. That lady be done shot us, okay? I'll talk to you when you get home, asshole, right? It'll be this type of energy and now he's scared to go home because he done took you out on a dinner and little JJ done caught you, all type of shit. Somebody's scared to go home in the next seven. This person is married, has a baby's mother, or lives with somebody. They're, they're uh, in a relationship where they're supposedly committed to this person. This person is scared to go home. They feel like this person has found something out about them. Maybe they will in the next seven days. It has something to do with you, okay? Scared to death, yeah, to leave, or that someone else is going to leave. I feel like somebody fucked themselves twice. Like, so it's like, say whoever this is, is in some karmic energy. Say this is somebody you're dating and they're a divine masculine, whoever the fuck, right? Divine feminine laid up in some karmic energy. And you like, I'm Gucci. Like, you don't even need to come and bring that dick or that puss over here. I'm good. You've already ruined it, right? Death card with the knight of wands. There'll be no fucking over here, right? And this person's like, shit, right? But now does the person, the karmic energy know that I just went to this divine energy trying to hook up? Probably. It's like somebody lose twice. <laughs> out here it's like someone was baited twice or they will be okay in the next seven days so somebody may have just got fucked out of some type of situation with you and when they went back to some other situation they get fucked out of that too there's like a, a dead end or some shit yeah death card Ooh wait, ooh wait. sorry can y'all see that probably not as usual no boom Boom. All right, y'all. That's basically what goes on here in the next seven days. Let's see what's up, though. Let's go a little bit deeper. Okay. What's at the, yeah, the Empress. What's at the bottom? Of my, look, I told you. Now, that's probably you, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, this one. That's why in the beginning I got fooled a little bit, but I know you ain't no scary ass hoe. That's why I was like, oh, no, nah, that ain't my bitch. Not in the comment. Now, nah, some, yeah, you know, let's keep it real. But up in here, no, this ain't y'all. Come on, for, for what? Why would you be matching this punk ass energy? But be aware though, some of y'all may be picking up on someone else's energy as far as them being nervous, paranoid, noivus, manoiva, all that shit. That's about to end. Uh, be careful who you attaching to, thinking about everything. You could be thinking about a motherfucker, literally thinking about their ass and like a day or two later, it's like you worried about the same shit this motherfucker worried about. You just don't know that because you haven't actually talked to this person. You just been thinking about them. Yeah, you done soaked up their motherfucking problems and shit. Uh, be aware, G, in the next seven days. Basically. Why is this man scared? Yeah, I know this is plaid, but they said played. Someone got played. And, and the end is coming towards someone. Somebody, congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, someone's name could be Khaled, or somebody could be Middle Eastern or something, or shit, Khaled got money, so maybe somebody lost a bunch of money or something. I feel like somebody stole a track from somebody uh, or some shit like that, or some lyrics or something, but it bites up. Like somebody purposely put this lyrics and these tracks out to see who would steal it. And somebody else was like, oh, I'm about to take this track and drop fire on this shit. And then they release it. And it's like they did exactly what this person. It's like, now I know you the motherfucking mo. Now I know it's you. Yeah, it's like a, that's what I said, booby trap. Yeah, Divine Feminine, y'all got that before. It's another booby trap out here. Uh, I feel like you set this one, though. But someone thought they were setting it for you. Whoever this is, they set the same fucking booby traps all the time. So it was easy for you to set a booby trap on top of a booby trap. You get what I'm saying? It's like, so when they came back to check on their booby trap, they got trapped. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's kind of silly, but I mean, what goes around comes around. Gee. Who is this and why are they so scared? Yeah, something's become crystal clear to somebody. Somebody's name could be Crystal. Someone also uh, is losing their sight. I don't know if it's like both eyes or the third eye or something, but something damn sure gone. Someone knows it's gone too. Someone's gift is gone. Someone knows, okay? So this is like a gymnast and shit trying to go do a somersault and... That shit look like motherfucking winter or fall. <laughs> yeah, they said it's a fall salt. It's not a somersault. Damn. Somebody bite it, G. It's like, yeah, you ain't got it no more. But I don't know what this person was doing to you, okay? Not a fall salt. Mm. Who is this and why are they scared? Who is this? The goat. 
So it's somebody who worried they ain't the greatest. It's like Muhammad Ali questioning himself, okay? Uh, I don't know why he would be doing that. It could either, it could be a couple of reasons. Even though rest in peace, right? I ain't talking about like, like he here, right? But they're saying in his prime though. There would only be a couple of reasons why he would be doing that. It would be just because, I mean, he didn't believe in himself that. Or his time was up. Maybe he got ill, which did happen. You know what I mean? Or it's something. It, it's, I, I gotta put, let me put another one with the goat. But this is somebody scared. I feel like number two, Divine Feminine, yeah. Somebody is scared of you, like I told you. You are, I feel like you this goat too. Oh, aren't they cute? Your baby the goat too. I told you something about your kids, girl. Ain't that what they call little goat babies, kids? Yeah. Uh, some of your kids could be scared or someone scared for their kids. But I know why you scared for your kids, whoever this is. You heard that reading. Your punk ass ain't supposed to be in AP class. That's what I'm saying. Bait up on bait. So somebody here in YouTube went in AP class, heard that they fucking kids probably gonna pass away for sending death magic to a motherfucker, right? A divine motherfucker. That's the only way that you would have heard that. Right? Bait up on bait. Right? And that's why you scared. That, that's what this is. My little kid. What? Timmy? I'm telling you. I mean, shit, it's out here. Get your ass up on my shit. Anyway, back to you, Divine Feminine. I mean, someone is out here scared for their kids. I don't know. It could be a divine masculine or a masculine energy scared for his children. Maybe that's why he's not leaving someone or scared someone will hurt a child or some shit. Like, whatever it is, I feel like you don't want to be involved, G. You saw your, your car was way at the bottom of the deck. I will ask where you are in this reading because I still feel like this is about someone else. This would also be Capricorn energy here. This, I mean, excuse me. This will be the devil, but it would be, yeah, Capricorn energy. Not that I'm calling signs, right? But devil energy here. Yeah, someone sees... Uh, uh, a karmic energy's true nature. So something that was made to look good, somebody's fine. That's why I said someone's seeing something crystal clear because of his eyes. They crystal blue, G. Someone seeing uh, something that they thought was great was the goat is the motherfucking devil, G. The motherfucking devil. Now they could be looking at you like that. I said you got the light and the dark side. If you saw uh, Grab Bag Monday, which is what I think that reading was. Was it Grab? Yeah, that junk box reading. That's where all that shit was. But yeah, in the beginning where the junk was, right? Yeah, because when I was talking about the kids, we wasn't even doing cars. So I know your ass was in there, whoever you is. And that's what the fuck you get. You just literally soaked that, that shit up. Anyway, uh, this is somebody didn't know you had a dark side too. Divine feminine, divine masculine. This is somebody scared. So let's say you are a medium or a psychic or you just real connected with your spirit gods and ancestors. They don't play about you or shit. You connected to killers. Let's keep it real. Uh, this like, you know what I mean? Anything go down, like killers come out. That's what this is. Somebody could be worried about that. Okay. Or and that's, that would be on the physical for y'all that's mixed up and shit like that. Like somebody fuck with the wrong one here. So either somebody got a whole bunch of brothers, the hood is behind them, some organization. I heard the clan. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't fuck with them neither, but yeah. Okay, uh, it's a, some like weird ass, yeah. Some about white supremacy or something like that. That goat is pretty, you know what I mean? Pretty Snow White. So I don't know. There's something about racism out here too. Somebody, there's someone that's white that's scared that a black person is coming to kill him, G. I feel like this is totally stereotypical uh, something. I don't feel like this is real. Because this is a knight of wands, you know, uh, wands are usually like African-American, Middle Eastern, Latino, and you know what I mean? Energy. With the death card, this is like uh, someone coming to kill, like somebody terrified out here. So I don't know what you got going on here, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What? Somebody out here doing something with goat's blood as well? Okay, so, I mean... You could be drinking it. I don't know. Shit, I don't know what y'all be doing. But I know it's different cultures that do shit with the milk and the blood. So I ain't really trying to judge. But I feel like if this was some cultural thing, why the fuck is you feeling like this, G? You know what I mean? This would be some traditional shit, like some custom shit where everybody drinking and dousing and goat milk and goat blood. Why the fuck is you so scared? This like somebody, that's what I said, man. That's what I'm saying. Somebody, uh, but they thought it was... Like, G for good. <laughs> it's all G double O D good. Look at them. No. Or they thought they was a G. Shit. They a lowercase compared to you. Whoever the fuck this is. I don't know. Okay? Somebody's worried. They, they picked on the wrong person is what I'm being told. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. Okay? Somebody's damn sure worried about their title, their stands, their position. I heard in this world and in America. 
So this could be a politician. I don't know. Okay, somebody's this could be uh Biden and shit. You know what I mean? Like once upon a time, you know you were sad, but don't you? You know, come on, man. You know, like you can't really run like that. Nine of Wands in an emergency or none of that shit. He know that shit. It could be something like that, G. It's like someone's time is up and they fucking know it. But I, the crazy shit about it, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, the only reason why this would be coming out in your reading is because you showed up on the scene. It's like somebody who thought they were the GOAT really sees the GOAT, you know what I mean? Which is you, basically. And I feel like you pulling on some dark ass energy to, and light energy, like kind of, so it's like a gray, you know what I mean? There's a gray area with you. People can't really read you and shit. So you can take it there or not take it there. It just depends on, you know what I mean? What's, what's going on? Whoever this is can't do that. So let's say this is a musician and all they do is sing love songs. You know what I mean? That's, that's all they do. And you come on the scene and you sing love songs and some other shit. I don't know how you, whatever else you sing. I don't know. Maybe you can rap too. And it's like, damn, this motherfucker's like a double, triple threat and shit. And they sing and rap better than me. Like, I thought I was the great. Like, this is somebody who think there'd be no one greater than them. Whoever this is, is, uh been sheltered like a motherfucker whoever this is divine feminine divine masculine uh they have they've been kept around people who told them they were the best you were the this you are not a loser timmy you will always win you call your mommy if anything ever happens i'll be there you know what i mean dun, 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 dun. like this this person whoever this is gee they have people around them like that and i feel like they've been around people around them like that so long that when they go out and to meet people like y'all it, it, well, I feel like they really ain't met people like y'all, but they have officially, and it's fucking they shit up. I feel like they realizing all them motherfuckers been dun 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 they ass, been lying to they ass on some Captain Save a Hole, dick riding, that's what this is. It's like somebody been coddled and shit, you know what I mean? And you may be the one to let this motherfucker know, like, um, I don't think you're that great, or you were, you know what I mean? Past tense, you know what I mean? Maybe hand the mic over to you, son. To you kid now? I don't know. It could be something like, but nobody would tell this person that. So this person goes around with their chest puffed out like the emperor in their new clothes, right? And the emperor was naked than the motherfucker. But all the servants were scared to tell him, you naked, G. They kept telling him, we love your outfit. We love your outfit. And that motherfucker start naked till somebody was like, you don't have no clothes on, motherfucker. Right? Boom. He like, I don't. But fuck the I don't part. So you mean to tell me all them people let me walk outside naked? That's the real problem. That's the real problem. Yeah. Somebody got double baited out here. <clears throat> so basically, <clears throat> someone wanted to please the emperor and humiliate him at the same fucking time. Gee, a gray area. I'm telling you, okay? I feel like this is happening to somebody. You could have tried to warn this person, divine feminine or divine masculine, okay? Somebody little kid got more heart than a grown ass man. On some other shit. I don't know. Why your kids coming out here like, you know what I mean? Ready to whoop up on somebody ass. Especially if you got little boys. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Even if you a divine masculine, masculine watching, your kid will fight right beside you. I don't know what's going on here, but some about little rider kids or something. I don't know. That's what's up, but damn, you know, go to school, kid. Don't worry about grown up shit. Mm. Or it's what I said. Yeah, it stings. It's what I said. Somebody worried about something happened to their children. Now they care about their kids. They didn't care about them when they was doing all this fuck shit to your ass. Whatever it is they were doing. Lying, stealing, cheating, uh, digging in the graveyard, drinking goat's blood, and, and making goat milkshakes, and whatever the fuck they been doing. Okay? Sacrificing children is what this is, too. I don't know. I've, I, don't, I don't know. Or this is like aborting children or something. I don't know what this shit is. It's something like that. But they're doing it for like sacrificial reasons to remain great. They come across you and you didn't have to sacrifice anything, douse in anything, do any of that shit. You're just talented. You're gifted. You're smart. You're beautiful. You know what I mean? God just made you that way. And somebody's realizing like, damn, I done sucked a lot of dick and then drank a lot of ghost blood to get where I am. And you walk on the scene and just do it? Like, yeah. Somebody's feeling real, I mean, shit, yo bad, shit, I mean, they didn't give you no pamphlet or nothing, wasn't no orientation, like, that's how you, that's how you would respond to this person, like, what do they want you to say? Somebody's scared death is coming. Mm-hmm. 
this is a weird ass message, but this wasn't that AP class uh, reading, y'all. So now this makes sense. AP class that are in here, right? This makes sense now. Why I know for a fact that that was not you. Because remember, I was confused. I was like, who is this? Why is all this death energy here? Yeah, it's somebody else. This literally could be a man doing this shit. Uh, that was, I'm telling you, man, there's some men out here either into like some witchy poo shit or they funding the shit. Okay. Is what this is. They're, uh, yeah, putting money behind this shit. They may not even know it. It's like just giving a, a bitch a wad of money and she going to the damn witchy poo lady to go get spells done. And he trying to figure out why his teeth hurt and shit and his teeth falling out. That's why, sir. That's why, sir. Or why your kid getting punched in the mouth every day at school? For real, I ain't trying to be rude, y'all. It's like that weird ass shit that be happening, though. You know what I mean? How, how can you predict how something gets returned back? Yep, Ace of Wands. Yep, that witchy poo shit. How can you predict, predict how something's going to return back to someone? More, more uh, nine times out of ten, let's say it this way, nine times out of ten, a return to sender will always hit what you love the most. Nine times out of ten, Okay. So that's what's being hit here with these people. It's it don't even look like money. You see, ain't no coins that fell out. So this could be somebody trying to fuck up your coins, right? Your coins though, because that's what you care about right now. Let's say that, right? And you return that shit to senders. Let's say this person wealthy. They don't worry about money, but they love to fuck out them kids. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like this type of energy. Timmy should not be out here with the damn death card, G. Okay. I'm just saying. Return the cinders go to, you welcome, people. Return the cinders hit what you love, okay? Because the person who sent it to you thinks that they're attacking something that you care about, right? So when it returns the cinder, what the fuck do they think it's gonna hit? <laughs> Hello? Run, rabbit, run, rabbit. Yeah, somebody's scared as fuck out here. They done ran into the goat. Mm -hmm. They know it too, whoever this is. Yeah, this person's trying to sneak away from something, back out of something, convent. I feel like this is a unisex message because uh, I keep saying convent instead of divine feminine, but yes. Okay, in the next seven days. Put something on this death card here. Z is for zebra. Yeah, they never change their stripes. I told you, this person keep doing the same fucking shit. This could be, I mean, not that I'm calling out signs, but this is a real fixed energy, okay? So they damn sure have a fixed sign in their chart somewhere. Okay, whoever this is. But that's why they keep doing the same shit or they say the same shit all the time. There's something about you versus this person. Yeah, they said versus. So this could be a musicians or some shit. I don't know. Are you and someone in the same industry or family or relate or some shit like that? Somebody wanted to outdo your ass. But they do the same shit all the time. <laughs> they say the same shit all the time. They rap the same shit. They dance the same way. All their novels all this are all the same. Uh, the movies are the same. You know what I mean? The tarot readings are the same. Whatever the fuck. And they may have been dominating with that bullshit is what this is. Till they fucking saw the goat, which is you. This could be uh, you doing hair, divine feminine. I don't know. Uh, divine masculine. Shit. I don't know what the fuck you do. Some shit. Nails. <laughs> I don't know what y'all do. Okay, but it's something that you came into like late, I feel like, and just took the fuck over. But it wasn't hard. If a zebra never changes their stripes, this could mean like I just studied you motherfuckers and saw what you keep doing and decided not to do that. That's all. Like, it's not rocket fucking science. Yeah. Yeah. Something about black and white, too, I told you. Somebody scared somebody going to mix with a black person or a white person and have little... Uh, mixed kids is what this is too You know what I mean Is what that is as well Yeah real G's moving silence like lasagna Yeah somebody worried that you're doing something Behind their back too uh, Like you're up to something confident But this is somebody that did something to you So they're worried you want some on the get back tour Basically but you ain't Now that don't mean your ancestors ain't But I mean shit this is the dark and the light so, I mean, you got dark ancestors and light ancestors. Maybe people don't know that. Or this is light ancestors and then people on the 3D ain't so light. You know what I mean? They really about whatever the fuck. Whatever this is, y'all. Somebody didn't know you had it in you is what I heard. Had, like, capabilities of uh, both sides. So, the, so with Springer, right? If we go back to Wolverine. He never thought Wolverine would come back and turn on his ass. He thought he was that powerful. Like, I made you. I put those blades in your arm and your hands and shit. You can never turn on me. I'll make up. Remember, he made another one stronger with his, uh, it was another woman. 
he made another Wolverina, I think is what it was, like a little Asian chick and shit, uh, whose shit was supposed to be stronger. And Wolverine fucked her ass up too, but it was a tough fight. But still, you know what I mean? Like, motherfucker, now you done made a clone? Now you done made a clone from the great. Okay. Yeah, someone here is disappointed with that chick too. Someone tried to, uh, yeah, like Gumby. Yeah, a, a little green slab of clay. Uh, you should see what Gumby can do today. Yeah, somebody tried to mold a motherfucker into you or some shit. It did not work. Okay. But back to the story though. This is like the person who put the blades in Wolverine's hands, thinking Wolverine would never come back and fuck his shit up because he made Wolverine. No, Wolverine made Wolverine. Wolverine could have went and sat and cried under a tree because blades kept coming out his hands and never found the Professor X or none of that. That shit could have went a whole different couple ways. So Wolverine really made Wolverine, G. Granted, you did put the blades in his fucking hands, but you have nothing to do with that motherfucker's skill and tenacity and will and heart and drive, you know what I mean, and love and compassion and anger and sadness and shit well you probably got something to do with that part the negative part but that's why he fuck your ass up that would be the dark side yeah he didn't expect that shit that's what this is somebody get fucked up by wolverine but you you gave him the blades <laughs> that's what i'm saying g someone baited the bait and shit it's like wolverine like okay yeah put him in there make him a little sharper you know what i mean and the person doing it doesn't know that wolverine is coming back to like slice and dice they motherfucking ass you know what i mean like someone's setting up their own trap here uh, in the next seven days. Yeah. Maybe they didn't know y'all was real G's. I heard real Compton City G's. Okay. Shout out to Compton. Boom. Easy E. Something about Easy E, son. You need to be careful, sir. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put that out there. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, put some on this Knight of Wands. Sloth. This is someone slow. This is somebody who can't move fast as fast as you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Knight of Wands with the sloth is like somebody or someone who assumed they were the fastest, G. There's a lot of assumption out here, but we all know. Number one, we all know we get older. Right, our bones get brittle, we get slower, we, you know what I mean, we age, uh, you know what I mean, technology upgrades, meaning, you know what I mean, there's gonna be a new generation coming up that's better, that's stronger, that's faster, that's smarter, that's whatever the fuck, that's just the way the fucking world is. Somebody was like, never, never, I'll be the greatest MC at 97, like, really? <laughs> okay, MC geriatric, uh, G is for geriatric, G is for grandpa, okay, that's grandma. Okay, it could be something like that. A zebra never changes their stripes. This is somebody still in like a game or still in like a relationship or in some type of setting or something where they're doing the same shit, G. It's a wrap, G. It's over, G. You can't even run like these people. This is like somebody who's going to eventually embarrass themselves. This is like somebody who won't bow out of something gracefully here, divine feminine, divine masculine. And for some reason, I feel like this, per this person, yeah, they could be on Percocets and shit. This person is trying to uh, compete with you. And you're like not on drugs, you know what I mean? You love black people, white people, mixed people, you love animals. It's like this person has some type of uh, mindset and shit that keeps them like in a box or some shit like that. And it has worked for this person. People kind of followed this person's lead and shit, but it was keeping people stuck till you came around or till you met this person. You know what I mean? This could be somebody that you met uh, or that met you. Let's say it that way, that met you. And this person thought they met the perfect soulmate. Nobody better than the motherfucker they laid up with till they met you. Now they're like, damn, I thought my bitch was the goat and shit. Like, mm, I'm going to shut up. Yeah, right? And it's like, mm, they're not, though. This person starts to realize, like, it is pretty drab and boring there. You know what I mean? I just come home, read the newspaper. She goes to her computer. You know what I mean? We walk the dog. You know, it's like I take Timmy out for practice. It's like, I mean, it's a good life. It is good. You know, I'm getting 10 of cups energy here with someone in regards to this situation. But the, it's just like regular. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like uh, the Cleavers, the, what was the Brady Bunch people last name? I don't know. But they said the Cleavers and the Seavers. The Seavers were family ties. 
Yeah, they're naming all these like family people, which is cool. You know what I mean? That that shit looks great. But somebody's like, I mean, I thought that was G for great. But shit, it's pretty just black and white. Like it's the same shit every motherfucking day. Like I feel like I'm just going nowhere slowly, says someone here, divine feminine, divine masculine. Some of y'all feel this way about a job, a relationship, or it's like some industry or a group, or it's what I said, it's someone who's having a harsh realization right now that they're not as fucking dope as they, as they thought they were, or they're not now, G. You know what I mean? It's like, who was like super dope back in the day? And you just would not want to see them that way now. Like, please put some fucking clothes on, okay? Um, All these people. This like Lucille Ball. God rest your soul. This like Lucille Ball at like 90-something coming out with a tankini on, gee. You know what I mean? And it was cute back in the 50s and 60s when her and Ethel were doing it. You look great. <laughs> you did. But and the shit was in black and white back then. So, you know what I mean? We wasn't, you know, we wasn't tripping then. Like, now it's, like, a little different. Like, you need to, you know what I mean? I thought you and Desi had kids and shit. Like, something need to evolve or something like that. It's it's something. Like, I feel like someone's in a situation like that where their eyes are open and no one else's uh, eyes are open or someone else's eyes are not open. Or their eyes are open and they've been duping this motherfucker just to keep a job or just to, to get approval from this motherfucker and been lying to him. Either way. Uh, someone's like outdated here or realizes that they've been in a hot tub fucking time machine basically girl or boy in the next seven days something about a slow death this is damn sure death you got the shovel but this is the death car but dead and then with the th is death okay this is also a slow death okay someone's worried about a slow death Someone is worried about their worth. Because this, I'm telling you, this feels like somebody who feels like they lost their title, G. So this could be somebody that you don't deal with anymore, divine feminine, divine masculine, on a romantic note where they feel like, I mean, if you don't want me and shit, like, I lost my divine counterpart. Like, who else is out there? Like, I thought I was the, the greatest thing that you've ever met or loved or you'd never leave. This could be somebody, I'm telling you, somebody... You must have made somebody feel a fucking amazing, G, okay? But that could have been the bait on bait. You know what I mean? Like, not that you didn't really feel that way about this person, but it's like you put that out there to see how people, if, if people will reciprocate and how. And maybe this person never did. You know what I mean? It's like it was in black and white. Like, this motherfucker don't never show up, and I always fucking do. So I'm cool. Somebody thought you would never be like, I'm cool. You know what I mean? They thought you would always just... I don't know what you did, uh, divine feminine, divine masculine. But this person didn't never catch on. Because it says sloth out here with the knight of wands. This person's very immature. This person's very horny or very sexually driven. Uh, this person fuck real fast, whoever this is. Because it's like, please slow it down. Right? Knight of wands is, is fucking very fast. With the sloth, it's like, slow down. Like someone just like has to, like, so this is somebody who ain't never really made love to nobody or they feel uncomfortable making love. This is somebody who can fuck, but they can't make love to somebody. Some of y'all could have been like, you cool on them because of that. Like, I need grown sex, okay? I don't need this this back uh, in the backseat, Brian McKnight, <laughs> whatever the fuck. I don't know, they're playing that. Getting down in the backseat. So I don't know, okay? I feel like, I, I don't know, okay? It just feels real rushed. Or someone feels real like somebody could have thought they were the best fuck you ever had. I'm going to keep it real. Whoever this is or they thought you'd always be cool with fucking in the back seat. Using this as an example, y'all. And you're like, no. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not cool with that shit. But because you always did it, right? Or you were just whatever. You love this person. We in the mood, whatever, right? We fuck in the back seat. Somebody's like, well, then I don't have to get a place or anything. We could just get to stay fucking in the back seat. It's like this person thought that was just good enough. Like, I'm the greatest back seat fucker you'll ever meet. Like, are you like this? <laughs> I want someone with a home or, you know what I mean? Or, or something. You know what I mean? It's like clear how something's going to be for a long time. It's in black and white. Like, this shit ain't about to change. This shit ain't about to, you know, you, him, they, we, us. None, this, this situation, this shit ain't about to change, G. It's like we just moving through this shit and I'm just wasting time. This like days, hours, years, months and shit going by and ain't shit happening, G. And ain't shit happening, okay? Ooh-wee. 
Let me ask where you are, girl, before we go to Patreon. I still feel like this is somebody else. How is Divine Feminine involved in this? Even though this is a unisex message, I'm still trying to keep it for you, but I don't know. How is she involved in this here? Now, where is she in this message? Oh, shit, girl, who? What happened to her? <laughs> Look. What happened, girl? Boop. I'm going to have to fix her. It's time for some new ones. I ain't going to keep it, but damn. So maybe you see something and you don't <laughs> Girl, you may see something that blow your mind, right? You saw her face. Like, I saw it, but I ain't saying shit because you saw her mouth was folded up. So you know what's going on, and you are probably, like, hella shocked, or you will be whenever this is that's coming out or all this shit that's going on, but you're not saying anything or you won't in the next seven days. That's I'm telling them about. Them cars be talking no matter what. If they burn up, bent up, anything. So I would say this is my bird bitches car. And I know that's not you, girl, but this because this is also ancestor messages with the sun and the chariot. Yeah, where you are is gone. This your ancestors telling you to get the fuck on. You see what's going on. Sun with the chariot. This is like a, a double meaning here. The sun with the chariot means you see what's going on. Your spirit guides are telling you. Or you see there are some birds coming around. Uh, some, uh, You know what I mean? It's like some like karmic energy and shit that you know about. You know what's going on as well. Some of y'all been tipped out about, uh, tipped off, tipped out. Yeah, so some of y'all are bartenders or you do something with tips. Or you could be dancing. Shit, I don't know. I know you to move the fuck on. I do know that to go get your shmoney chariot car with the sun. This is uh, your spirit guides telling you you're about to be happy. That you're gone, you're gonna be happy that you're moved on. You're already happy, is what this is. This is a good combination. This is you being divinely guided to happiness and shit, or just divinely guided to move forward, period. So you're not involved in that shit. Yeah. You have no fucking emotion for this. My man face. Like, and? And? So, like I said, if this is somebody that was trying to compete with you and they the great and all this and they the goat and all this other shit, right, that they tried to say and he'll never leave her and he'll never leave me for you, bitch, and I got all this other shit, right? I'm smarter, I'm this, I'm, right? Number one, you don't give a fuck, and it's genuine, because this is my genuinely, I don't give a fuck about you or that motherfucker bitch card, basically, okay? I don't care at all. Yeah, look what's behind it. Getting no fucks, I told you. Uh, that's number one, okay? Number two, uh, this is like, I mean, yeah, you don't even think about this shit. You see, I just forgot. Yeah, it's something that at least, girl, this like some shit. Yeah, two of wands. Maybe you got to make a decision. Like, do I decide to focus on this or not? I feel like life is good, girl. That's what this is. These are bird bitches watching you to see what's going on. But you know that already, okay? You know that it's, it's some bird Tatiana bitches, sun card, that watch you. They happy to, sun, right? To watch you, follow you, and do whatever the fuck. You know this already. So, I mean... Where you are in this, I mean, you're, you're moving on being happy and someone who is watching you. Now, again, back to what I was going to say when I forgot. They reminded me now. Yeah, whoever this is that said they were the best at whatever and better than you and prettier than you and smarter, whatever the fuck. This person is watching you achieve way more than they ever have. And they're supposed to be smarter than you, better than you and all that. Somebody's being made an example out of, but it's... uh. You're not doing it on purpose because you're divinely guided. So because you don't even know what's going on. You don't know people are even intimidated uh, by you judging their own work. Like some people out here are judging like their work based on your work. So they come and look at your work and be like, yeah, I need to do better, which I will say this is inspiration. But it's like it's not, though, because they wouldn't feel like this because then this is the giving me the competing energy and shit. You know what I mean? It's like they want to be better than you. So I need to go. But I mean, shit, it's almost like I knew you come do that. Right? Because remember, it's something about baiting the bait. So it's like now you just come through like your spirit guy showing the fuck out. So now you singing, moonwalking, break dancing, doing triples, triple somersaults. Right? Uh, then left the cards alone, just reading motherfuckers and shit. It's this type of shit to show somebody. Like you are not the great. This the uh, the Capricorn. This I keep saying that. Sorry. This is the devil energy here. So somebody, we know where they got their gifts and their talents from. So somebody didn't pay that motherfucker shit. Basically, that's what it's starting to feel like. Somebody was claiming a false title out here 
and the devil it's inflation everywhere i heard it's inflation as above and so below that's fucked up but i believe it it was inflation up there and down there first so whoever this is claiming they the great and they do all this the devil was watching like oh, okay i hope you know i'm taxing your motherfucking ass right whoever this is this person can't pay whoever this is so they're losing things that's why they can't sing, rap, read cards, write books, act no more. They don't show up. Uh, you know what I mean? It's something going on with this person. And they're watching you be totally led by something of the light. Look at all that yellow. Yeah. You're in the light right now. That's why you don't care. This, I love this damn card because it's like you really, this is like I'm indifferent. You know what I mean? Which is kind of caring. Like, I, I don't feel a way either way. But this is about you. I don't, right? About whoever the fuck this is. When it comes to me, I feel right. Yeah, somebody named could be Tony shit. I don't know. This It's like the strength car. Yeah. I feel great. Sun car with the chariot. Birds are chirping, right? The trees are a blowing. Uh, I had extra butter on my grits, which I did not need. But breakfast was delicious. That's what this is, girl. That's where you are. So why would you care about, uh... I mean, the kids passing away and all that, possibly, I'm, I'm assuming. But this shit where somebody's stuck and doing the same shit and tried to compete with you and they're failing and, and now the bitches are watching because the man's stuck with her. Why do you, you don't care. <laughs> you really don't. I don't know. I feel like people want you to because it's rare that you, I say this all the time. People say they don't give a fuck all the time and end up giving a fuck. You know what I mean? Because they got to talk about you. Uh, throw subliminals or throw you in some type of shit. That's how you know a motherfucker give a fuck. Because a motherfucker that don't really give a fuck is a happy motherfucker. Believe that shit. And not that they don't give a fuck about anything, but I mean, what you're doing. I give a fuck about what I'm doing and my happiness and my success. Yeah, that person really don't give a fuck. I feel like that's y'all. Yeah. You getting uh, ancestor messages about where to go, how to do things, and all types of shit, okay? Yeah, I heard fuck with me and get some money. They keep playing Cardi B. Okay, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's what you're saying. Shit. Or you coulda. You coulda fuck with me and got some money is what I heard. Yeah, you coulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda is what I heard. Yeah, somebody missed out and you just moved on. That's where you are. Okay, I like it. Give me another one. X-ray. Ooh, gone, girl. And you see very clearly. Very clearly, uh, x ray, okay, with the sun. This is uh, that's why I said someone's eyes are gone, uh, or losing their sight. I don't know if it's their two eyes or, or their third eye, as far as like you know, intuitive, the gift of sight, discernment, and shit. I feel like for some of y'all, you've acquired it. Some of y'all's uh, intuition or sight, it could actually be your sight, it just corrects itself, and you know, usually. The sight is the only thing that you really can never, well, I guess with LASIK you can, but like if you were to get glasses, the, your prescription always gets stronger, right? Your eyes never get better with glasses. It's like the prescription gets stronger is what this is, right? Uh, the opposite of that, I should say. So this would be like your prescription is getting less and less strong. Like, you know what I mean? Like to damn near, you don't even need the glasses anymore. It's like this type of energy. There's something about you being healed, happy, glowing, uh, people seeing you, seeing the real you, you seeing through people, seeing through situations. Yeah. Some of y'all about to meet a nice manatee too. Yeah. But you're going to meet a, man, a mean manatee too. I told you it's going to be some man or woman because it's my demon card. Uh, that's going to come and try to act like a nice man or woman manatee, right? And they abandon something. Or they're still stuck in something, stuck in a relationship, but they try to present something to you. It could be a job. You know what I mean? Uh come partner with us, come invest with us. You know what I mean? And we're going to do this and do that, thinking you don't know this business about to go to fucking shits. You know what I mean? It's like, this person is already giving off this energy. Like, I wonder if they know. This could be something that was, let's say it was like, I don't know, Nike, allegedly. Let's say Nike was going out of business and shit, and you would never think that, right? And Nike would never think that either, allegedly, right? We just using you as an example, Nike. Don't get tight with your home, girl, okay? This will be Nike like, no, we'll never go out of business, right? Ever. Nike been around forever. And somehow, years down the line, some new shoe come out. And Nike finally get like this and shit. You know what I mean? It's not the fact that Nike gets like this. It's the fact that Nike comes over to this new shoe company and is like, yeah, we should pair up and do something together. You know what I mean? Put Nike with you guys with your space shoes together make something happen, right? 
and this new company here that's dominating the shoe game now knows that Nike is suffering. Like, don't come over here with that bullshit. Nike already knows that your company about to fail. Don't be, uh, keep it a stack. Say you need help, G. Say you need help or you want to work for us, but don't be trying to bring that broke-ass Nike shit over here, allegedly, right? Using that as an example. That's what this is, G. You're seeing through people. So it's like someone trying to dress their best, put on all their best everything, and coming up to you acting like they gonna, you know, they got a good car, boop, 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 right? Coming up to you trying to offer you something, and you can see through that motherfucker. Like, you damaged, huh? Like, I could just tell you're not really happy. You're not really going anywhere. Like, it's something about you being shown, uh... People, places, and things, G, for what and who they truly are. So maybe you never thought this motherfucker wasn't great. It's like, I never really thought you were great. You know what I mean? The world thought you were great, but I never did. I saw something different. Or it's the other way around. I see something good in you, says you to other people. However it is, you're seeing the true self in people, the true intentions behind people's motives, uh, what they really want, if they're wasting your time. If not, are you going to keep it moving, G, is what this is. I mean... You seem, it's like, they keep saying you're baiting the bait. So it's like, I'm going to see what time you want. You know what I mean? And if it ain't on my time and it's on sucker time, I can't fuck with you. You know what I mean? I know what time it is. I can read time very well. Yeah. They said mother time. Girl, I don't know. Let me go on the Patreon. Y'all can follow us there. Anyway, Divine Feminines on YouTube. Yes, that has been your reading. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Feminine. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me to get on them. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear and your tune-in deck at thegetonine.com. The link for the entire video will be uh, in the description box below the video, and I will talk to you later. Love you, bye.